Hello and welcome. My name is Tyrion Lannister. Okay, so as we now know, in the recruitment pass, they've added the rare crystal essence. So, I want to take a second to talk about which of these castles you should be aiming to get if you're going to be upgrading some A castles with some rare crystal essence. So first of all, how does this work? Well, if you go to any of your castles now, you should notice that there's, of course, an active bonus and a collection bonus. The active bonus can be improved by getting more A-quality castles. The collection bonus can be improved by increasing the star quality. Now, you can increase the star quality by acquiring rare crystal essence and upgrading it just by getting 10 crystal essence and then 400,000 uh, gold dragons. You can upgrade the second level with 20 rare crystal essence, and 1.2 million gold dragons. So, the stats themselves work where each of them give 1% for the first star and 2.5% for the second star, or for the fervor attack ones, like Shadow of Valyria, you get 1.5% fervor attack for the first star and 4% fervor attack for the second star. So, I'm going to go ahead and just isolate it to A castles. The same thing applies for S and SS castles, but we don't really know how to access um, their crystal essence yet. We only know how to get the A castle ones. Um, as you can see, it would cost a total of 30 crystal essence to fully upgrade something and get the full 2.5% buff. And as you can see, each different castle has its own, whether it's infantry, spear, cavalry, or bows. Now, there are 37 different A castles, and yes, I counted, there are 37. I went through and I checked all of them, and just to save you guys the time, I went ahead and put it all right here for you. So if you want to take a look at this, if you want to pause the screen so that you know which ones to go for, you can check my work, but I've double and triple checked. I'm fairly certain that they are all correct. There are 10 different infantry castles, meaning a castles that give an infantry buff of 2.5% at 2 stars, 12 for spear, 10 for cavalry, 3 for bows, and then 2 fervor attack ones. I want to be very clear, I recommend doing these two first, the Shadow Valyria and then Fort Magnificent. Those are the only two that give fervor attack. The rest of them all, like I said, give 2.5% of their particular troop type. So, let's say you're an infantry castle. I would do... Shadow Valyria and Fort Magnificent, and then all the rest of these 10. Because if you think about it, what you're getting is a total of 8% fervor attack, and then for 2.5% for each of these, 25, 25 more infantry attack every single attack. Like it is just a flat bonus. That is a full gold badge extra that you have now. That's a lot. Like that is a a very significant buff, in my opinion, um, not not to be overlooked. Same thing you get for cavalry. For spear, you get a little bit more, um, just because there are more castles that give that spear buff, as you can see here. Um, just understand also that because you're getting a total of 70 more essence from the recruitment pass each month, you're going to be able to get this pretty quickly. Like 70 essence will get you two fully uh, done castles and then one more to one star. So that's a pretty good amount. Like if you think about it as, you know, wanting to get all 10 infantry or all ca 10 cavalry castles, that's going to cost you a total of 300 essence. You're going to get 280 of that essence over four months, okay? Just doing... 70 each time from the recruitment pass so you're gonna get that like fairly quickly in my opinion um definitely definitely worth getting good to be aware of and good to plan ahead which ones you're gonna get if you're someone like me you like to plan ahead make sure you've got all of them some of these eight castles i haven't unlocked yet i've only unlocked these 10 that you can see on my screen here so outside of those if i'm gonna want to unlock these other passive buffs in the collection bonus going to need to have to buy some more a castle skins well i hope this is helpful guys i hope you learned a thing or two about all of the new developments to the rare crystal essence where to get it and how to use it and until next time my name is Tyrion lannister i'll see you then